Hello friends, I am Sunil sir and I am back with a new video. In this video, I will be talking about stem. Stem is the aerial part of the plant body. It is called a shoot system which develops from plumule. The main axis, it is ascending part of plant axis. It is heterogeneous in nature having different parts like leaves, nodes, flower, fruits and even buds. The topmost is the apical bud. Then there is a flower, leaf, fruits. That's why we say it is heterogeneous. Characteristics of stem, they are positively phototropic moving towards light, negatively geotropic against the earth, negatively hydrotropic against water, it has terminal bud and axillary bud. Young stems, they are green in color, so they do photosynthesis also. The bud is nothing but it is a condensed compact young shoot consisting of leaves which are overlapping it. The largest bud basically is the cabbage. There are different types of bird, vegetative bird and floral bird. Floral bird is a reproductive bird because it develops into flower and it will help in sexual reproduction in future. Vegetative bird develops into branches. The largest bird is the cabbage. So condensed shoot overlapped. We have different birds like apical bird, also known as terminal bird. We have axillary bird, accessory bird and adventitious bird. Apical bird at the tip, axillary bird is at the axil of the leaf. The adventitious bud is present in the leaf or at the nodes. These are the different buds found in the shoot system. Let's see the functions of stem. What is the role of the stem? It provides support, protects the lateral appendages that is leaf, flower and fruit. Responsible for conduction of water and minerals to all part of the plant. It conducts food to also all part of the plant by phloem. Some stems under unfavorable condition gets modified for storage of food, support for climbing, proliferation, protection from browsing animals or perination. Means survival. There are three types of modification that we see. First we have underground modification. Then we have subaerial modification. Then we have aerial modification. Underground modification means modification taking place below the soil. It has rhizome, stem tuber, bulb and comb. In rhizome, the example that we will be studying is ginger. In stem tuber, potato. In bulb, onion. And in comb, amorphopallus. Subaerial means these are those modifications where the stem comes above the soil surface. We have runners, stolon, offset, suckers and even trailers. Aerial modification, the stem is above the soil surface. In this, we have stem tendrils, thorn phyloclad, cladod, bulbin, stem tendril, passiflora, thorn, duranta, phyloclad, opuntia, cladod, asparagus, bulbin, dioscoria. These are the different modifications that we need to study. So let us start with the underground modification. What exactly it means? The stem develops below the soil. It remains dormant under unfavorable condition. It gives off the aerial shoot during favorable condition and they try to survive under the soil. They sometimes store food, they become thick, fleshy and swollen. Even they have nodes and internodes present. So what are the different functions of stem? Storage of food, perination, vegetative propagation in underground modification. So let's take it in this way. We are going to see First example that is rhizome. Rhizome is prostrate, runs parallel to the earth surface, dorsiventral thickened, brownish stem, grows horizontally which has nodes and internodes. It means it runs parallel to the soil surface below the soil. It has terminal bird and axillary bird which remains dormant under the soil. What happens exactly? Under favorable condition the terminal bird will grow into aerial shoot and finally it dies at the end of favorable condition. So what happens that time? That time the stem still survives in the soil surface. Rhizomes, you have two birds, lateral bird, terminal bird. Lateral bird rhizome is sympodial rhizome that gives rise to ginger or turmeric. Ginger is called as zinziber officinale. Turmeric is called as curcuma domestica. Even we have canna that is bamboo. Terminal bird is called as monopodial rhizome. Example lotus, terrace, 
or nymphia let's draw the diagram first for rhizome and understand rhizome is basically ginger that normally we have in a house but let's see the ginger in a different way when you look at this ginger it shows some dark lines like this these dark lines are nothing but what they are nodes and in between the nodes there is some space that is called as internode so we have this green leafy structure they have adventitious roots present in them rhizome remember students that it is underground stem it is going to modify why because the conditions are unfavorable and since the conditions are unfavorable they modify themselves to store food so when we do the labeling of the diagram we see the nodes we see the internodes they have scaly leaves and they have adventitious roots also let us see now the scientific name for rhizome ginger is zinziber officii nali what we have to write next one that is the stem tuber tuber is what it's a swollen tip of underground branch swells due to storage of food since the condition are unfavorable they store food and they swell up they show the presence of nodes and internodes nodes have scaly leaves with axillary bud they are called as i here the example that we have is the most popular example that is potato solanum tuberosum under favorable conditions the i sprouts helps in vegetative propagation and it does not produce adventitious root so in potato plant students i can say there is no root present example is solanum tuberosum even matalu that is helianthus tuberosum so under a favorable condition when leaves are there in the potato plant they will do photosynthesis and the food that is synthesized in the plant will be transported to the tip of the stem which is below the ground and then it will swell up to store lots of food so underground branch potato young tuber if i take out one potato here i will see the scar from where it has been broken here i will be seeing the nodes and the internodes the nodes they show the presence of special bud and these buds are important because they have adventitious buds that help them to grow or give rise to a new plant you might have seen during summer season the potato sprouts that is because of the presence of bud so let's do the labeling this is a scar of the stem sprouting of the potato we can say there is axillary bud present these are the nodes the internodes and they are together called as eye of the potato potato scientific name solanum tuberosum so this is the second underground modification third what we have is the bulb when you talk about bulb it is spherical even it is pyriform shaped all the bulbs they are condensed disc like underground stem it does not stores any food material in fact the stem gets reduced to form a disc like structure many scaly leaves are overlapping they are arranged in a concentrically arranged ring form like onion when you cut in a circular pattern you see circular rings inner scale leaf leaves thick and fleshy outer scales of leaves they are thin and dry that provides protection lower surface shows adventitious root and they are almost spherical there are two types of bulb students one is tunicated bulb other one is scaly bulb tunicated bulbs they are fleshy scaly leaves surrounded by a pical bud in form of concentric ring and scaly bulbs they are fleshy scaly leaves and they are partially overlapped each other at margin so in tunicated bulb we have onion scientific name is alium sipa and scaly bulb we have garlic scientific name is alium sativum so look at this if we take the onion this brownish structure which i am drawing is only the stem who oh, upper this is the adventitious root the upper reddish part which i am drawing right now is nothing but the leaves thick fleshy leaves in the onion so in onion the stem is disc shaped highly reduced when we draw the next one the onion you will understand that on the stem they have the presence of bud so this part is the bud now they are overlapped by fleshy leaves so this is the greenish fleshy leaf which is overlapping it and outermost covering of the onion will be reddish in color 
so it's a condensed stem adventitious root apical bud this is fleshy leaf scaly leaves and this is the dry one with the other example that we have is scaly bulb we have garlic that is allium sativum so let's draw one garlic so garlic we have seen central stem disc like this much is only stem rest all are the buds basically which are present like this so remember in bulb tunicated bulb allium sipa onion scaly bulb we have allium sativum so these are the examples of underground stem modification that is bulb the next underground modification is a com com in hindi it is called as suran it is short it is stout it is fleshy it is upright it is thick underground modification it bears many bud in the axil of the leaves scaly leaves daughter com it has adventitious roots present it is a condensed form of rhizome but in rhizome it was growing parallel or prostrate here it will grow vertically downward the examples that we have student is arbi that is colocasia or zamikand that is amorpho pallus if i draw one amorpho pallus or zamikand is also called as elephant's foot and these elephant's foot they grow vertically deep into the soil it is called as suran so this is what you should know about the modification of stem underground modification In next video i will come up with subaerial and aerial modification till then thank you very much